Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to talk all about my tongue piercing. I know I don't really talk about my piercings all that much and I haven't done a piercing tour. I know I need to. I'll get around to it, I promise. I just wanted to do this one particularly because I haven't had it for that long and like I mean, I haven't had that many recent piercings. I don't get piercings that often just because I've had so many piercings in the past and I'm just like, been there, done that. And I just don't really like to go through the aftercare anymore. I'm just like, I'm done with it. But something just came over me and I really wanted to get my tongue pierced. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I just always didn't do it because I had braces and I really, really, really didn't want to fuck with my teeth. And I was like, I'm never going to get that. That was always a piercing that I was like, I'd love a tongue piercing, but I'm never going to do it because my teeth mean too much to me and it's not worth it for a piercing. And then like, I don't know, something just came over me. So anyway, we did it. And like immediately after I was like, I don't, I don't think this suits me. I don't, I don't really like it. Like as soon as it was pierced, I was like, oh, like, it doesn't suit me at all. What have I done? But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get through the healing process and like I'll film the healing process because I know that's something people find super interesting. Like before they get a tongue piercing, they'll like research and like watch the healing process because like they need to know what they're in for. They're like, can I handle not eating for this amount of time? And that's literally what I was like. I was like, can I really handle not eating food for like five days? Not that you like can't eat food, but it's like, it's it's hell. And I was like, nah. Can I not drink this weekend? I'd be like, nah. I saw food, alcohol, and my teeth to be more important than getting a tongue piercing. But something just came over me and I was like, I'm just gonna do it. Like, let's just do it. I'm gonna get my tongue pierced. And the way I convinced myself to do it in terms of like looking after my teeth, I was like, I'll just be super careful. I'll make sure like I downsize like as soon as possible. Just let your piercer size down for you. But like I was watching everything and sizing down literally as soon as I could, like straight away. Obviously your bar is so long at the beginning and I just was like insanely paranoid about my teeth the whole time. And even while it was healing, before I could change it, I would still be like biting the bar. Even when the bar was like full size on my tongue, I'd still be biting on the balls. And I was like, fuck this. I'm not about fucking my teeth up for this piercing. And I've made sure the entire time that it's like a perfect fit. I've made sure there's absolutely no bar, but it's also not like causing um, indents in my tongue either. And the jewelry is at a perfect, like it is at the perfect size right now. Like I can't go any smaller. It's as safe as safe can be in terms of like looking after my teeth because you're far less likely to bite the balls when your jewelry is fit properly. And I recommend that to anyone. Make sure you have jewelry that's fit properly. You shouldn't be seeing the bar. As soon as you're seeing the bar, that's giving it leverage to like, move especially when you're eating and that sort of thing and i know some people have no problem with eating they don't seem to bite it ever but i move my tongue a fucking lot and even though it fits perfectly i still find myself biting the balls i can't put a smaller bar in here trust me talking about the healing i did film clips i guess i could insert them i like watched them back and i was like oh like yucky i just just <laughs> I just look like hell in all of them because I was obviously feeling like hell. It just ain't cute. So like maybe I'll put them in here, maybe I won't. We'll see. I'll like edit it and see if I can handle looking like the grouch. I guess a reason I sort of did it as well was because I wanted to experience it. I've seen the healing process, but I haven't been there every step of the way. You know, I haven't had my tongue pierced. I've had so many other piercings, but I haven't had a tongue piercing. And it's a very unique piercing in its healing, if that makes sense. Its healing is so different to almost all other piercings. And I was like, I wanna be able to experience this to know exactly what the entire healing process is like. Like I can get knowledge of other pierces and other people all I want and like see the process when people are coming in and out, getting their jewelry changed and that sort of thing. But until you live it, like you don't sort of understand every single part of it, which also is another good reason for having piercers who have like lots of piercings and that sort of thing, because they've also lived the experience of the healing. They understand what it's like. And I mean, I'm not saying if a piercer doesn't have a piercing, they don't understand the piercing and they don't know anything about it. But when you've lived the full experience of that healing, 
of that particular piercing. It's a whole new experience. As weird as it sounds, I always wanted to experience the healing of a tongue piercing. Just so I knew every in and out and every single, every single moment of it. And I guess that is sometimes why piercers even like have and get so many piercings. We want to feel it, we want to heal it, and then we want to size it. Like everything for our own body so that we have even more knowledge on top of the knowledge we already have. I'm not saying you can't learn the knowledge just from other piercers and being thoroughly, thoroughly taught and trained. You can know so much from that, but something about this, I just, I just, I needed to know. So basically in terms of pain, getting the tongue piercing was no joke, a zero, which is so crazy to me. I always imagined that one would be higher on the pain scale because you'd notice more people more reactive to a tongue. So, I was honestly so shocked when mine was nothing. And I kid you not, like I don't even think I felt anything. And I've never said that about a piercing because I can easily say I've felt every piercing I've had, absolutely felt every single one of them. And like piercings aren't fun to get, like they hurt, I know this. But for some reason my tongue was like nothing. I was like, oh, that just happened. I don't even wanna say I felt pressure because I obviously did, I felt something but I didn't feel it. Like, it's really hard to explain. It was just like movement. Movement is all I felt. So it wasn't even pressure of like something went through. It was just movement. It was zilch, nothing, beautiful. And then like, obviously it's immediately hard to talk. Mine didn't swell for hours though. Like mine took a long time to really swell. Whereas some people can swell within an hour. Like it's such a different experience. And I guess this is why this was a piercing I really wanted to experience because I was like, it is so different for everyone. But then the next day it was very swollen and it was so difficult to eat or drink. All I basically had was smoothies and like shakes non-dairy of course and i was so hungry because all i was having was that the first night i had like pho i thought it would be okay to eat the liquid part of it was fine but the noodles like i basically just had to swallow them whole but i also talked a lot that night and it just like made it very painful it wasn't like a pain that was intolerable but it was just doing like your daily things like eating and talking that was like i can't do this this is brutal and i was so hungry i was just so hungry i just wanted to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and all i could do was drink and drink and drink and drink and drink smoothies and i never wanted to drink another smoothie after that kitten loves smoothies the first five days pain wise with talking and eating were brutal and swallowing as well sometimes was quite painful too but other than that, it was pretty good. Five to seven day mark was when I found that I would be biting on the balls when I was eating and that sort of thing. And I was like, oh, hell no. As you can see now, the barbell doesn't show at all. And that is the best thing for not damaging your teeth is so that when you are eating, it can't get like caught and fold over because it is like the size of your tongue. So immediately when I got it, I didn't think it suited me. And then once I changed to black jewelry, I was like, I love this. I can change the rest of this region to black jewelry and it would like fit. And I like that. However, I don't like the feeling of it in my mouth. It's not uncomfortable by any means, but it's just certain piercings. I don't like any piercing I can feel. And this is why I never wear my septum piercing either, because like, it's not like you can feel it. I don't know how to explain it. It's not touching anything. I just can feel the movement if, I, I don't know. There's something about it that I don't like and it just irritates me. And the same with this piercing. Like, I'm the type of person who I unconscious, unconsciously, subconsciously. I don't know, I'm not unconscious when I do it, so whatever the word is, without knowing, I put my tongue to the roof of my mouth and like I hold it there. That's what my tongue's like always doing, is it just sits on the roof of my mouth. So I can constantly feel the ball sitting on the roof of my mouth because my tongue's like up there like <sighs> So I can feel it. It's not bad. I just like don't want to feel it. I just know it's in there. And because I'm so paranoid about my teeth, I am like so conscious of like what I'm doing constantly with it. And I'm like, okay, make sure you don't do something crazy. Like I don't even want to shove my tongue out of my mouth because I'm like, oh, I might like tap my teeth slightly. And no matter what, the balls on your tongue are going to touch your teeth. Like I've tried everything, trust me. I'm the most paranoid because teeth are everything to me. Like even if I want to... <laughs> Even when I want to get up really high up in my, like, <laughs> when I want to like lick right up the top there, I can feel the balls touching my teeth. I'm like, nope, 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 can't do it. So I have to like shove my finger up there to like get food out. So many things you can just feel it touch your teeth. And I like, 
I'm not about it. And I know that everyone will say acrylic balls are fine, it's fine. But acrylic balls aren't good to be wearing 24 seven though either. Other than the fact that it isn't good quality jewelry, having that in your mouth, like ingesting that all the time, it isn't good. No matter what jewelry I'm wearing, I'm touching my teeth even just slightly, like the tiniest little touch, I'm not okay with that. If you're okay with that, then it doesn't matter and it won't affect you, but I'm just like a paranoid crazy person and my teeth are just too precious to me to want to keep this in. So I will be taking it out. It was cute while I had it and it's just a piercing that like, it's not gonna matter if I take it out because like the scar on a tongue piercing, if you can even notice it, is so minor that it doesn't even matter and who's looking at your tongue enough to notice that. It was a fun experience, but I'm just over it. I don't want it anymore. I want my tongue to just freely fly everywhere. I'm very expressive in the way I talk and I use my tongue a lot and I like shove it out of my face. The balls touch my teeth ever so slightly and I'm like, ah, hell no. Like I'm not allowing that to happen. Just personally, I don't want to deal with it. And you might think I'm being paranoid and over the top and like whatever, think that. It's a cool piercing, it looks sick. I love what it looks like and I think I've learnt to think that it suits me as well. There are a million people out there who never crack their teeth or like damage their teeth from it but not worth the risk to me. I even find talking a little bit I have to really articulate so that I don't like trip over my tongue if that makes sense. Especially if I'm talking to camera. It's like if I were public speaking or something I want to articulate very well and I find I have to focus on it so much more because this is in my mouth. Not that it affects it at all. You can just always feel it. I just don't want to feel this. Some people probably don't even notice it's there. I can see how you wouldn't notice it's there but when you're paranoid like me you're like okay. Yeah. It's there. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a tongue piercing or if you really want to get one. And let me know if yours annoys you at all in any way or if you think it's the best thing ever and you can't even feel it. And then I'm just the crazy one, but whatever. So be it. Let's say farewell to him. Thank you for being a little bit fun, but mostly annoying.